Now we're going to make a framey card, so I need my framey board here. And I've got some lovely black shiny card here, isn't it gorgeous? Now turn this over and this fits onto your board like this. Now you've got these little ridges here that this butts right up to. So I've positioned that there exactly where I want it. Now top tip is take one of the sheets that you use in the um, tumble dryer, uh, not the wet ones, the dry ones, and just go like that over the back of the card where you're going to use it. It just helps your ball tool run smoothly. This is one of my ball tools here. Uh, you just put it in this groove here and then you just follow the line through. So that's my first emboss line there and then start again here and just run it through. It just naturally goes into the well the canal there and comes out so you've got a lovely straight line and I'm going to do these two lines here as well on the opposite side. And now I've turned the board around because I find it so much easier if you actually pull the ball tool down towards you as opposed to pushing it that way. So you've got your start of the canal here and again you just go down and follow it and it just goes right the way through. Just go until it stops, start again and just go right through there. And you've got this lovely cross framey design here, you can see it coming together. Very easy, very simple to do. As the Glitter Girls say, they don't do hard, they only do easy and this is so easy. And now you can see how that's beautifully marked out. So all you've got to do now is cut that out ready to do your card. And there you see I've cut the actual design out now. I've taken the center out and cut all the way around here to give you that lovely lattice effect. Also does some line peel-offs on here as well and some nice corner peel-offs just to make it look really nice and fancy. And I've got a gorgeous A5 glitter card here and we've put an insert inside ready to decorate. So there's my card just waiting to be decorated. I've got my framey design here. I've put some double sided foam pads on the back and that's just going to fit over there perfectly. Next, I've taken a peel off and stuck it onto some nice glitter oriental effect paper there and then just cut round it. And then I've done the same with a second peel off, but then I've cut it into quarters. So first of all, I'm going to stick my large peel off in the centre there, double sided pad on the back. Now I could either go that way with the points going from top to bottom or turn it round so the peckles are. I think I prefer the points. So find the middle exactly where you want it to go and just stick that down. And the quarter pieces there, they're going to fit here where the black lines cross and we're going to put nice little corners on there, double-sided foam pads on the back as well. And there you have your finished card and I think that's fantastic and that's just one of the ways that you can use your framey board. Mm -hmm.